welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a DIY. Um, I wanted to do something for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which we all know starts in October. Um, as quick as the year has gone by, October is already this coming Friday, tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, the year is flying by. So this one is going to be a very simple but adorable tribute to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I did pick up the ribbon wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And I also got this glitter tool. It is this really nice pink color. And my plan here is to just hot glue a piece here and I'm going to wrap the entire wreath form in order to hold the flowers that I'm going to put on this. Um, I have a piece cut here already to start with. Um, I also have like different kinds of roses that I picked up, different colors. Mainly we have, well, we do have some that are, we have like these light pink ones here. We have this kind. So you have like some dark pink, light pink. Um, I think these are even, yeah, they are. These are even lighter in color. And then we have some hot pink ones that we're going to use. So to make it easier for the roses to be glued onto this wreath form, I'm going to just use the tool here and we are going to just wrap the entire reform with it. So I'm just going to start on the back here and just take my glue gun and just put some hot glue right around the edge here, just so it holds for you to start the wrapping. Um, I did fold this in half, so we are just going to let me get my little finger protector here. We are going to just hold this here and then press down on the hot glue so that holds there. And like I said, it's just going to be easier so it has a hold before you start wrapping. So we are just going to very easily go around like this, all the way around until we have the entire wreath form completely wrapped. I think I'm gonna end up having to do this in two sections because of the way that it is. Um, so I'm just gonna bring it around, I think, the bottom here and then just come across to the other side and wrap the actual like two ribbon pieces here at the bottom first. And that way also when it's done, the entire back will just look like this. So I'm just going to go down. And I'm not too worried about it going over the edge here a little bit. I don't want it to go over too much, but there will be a flower here, so it's going to cover that. So we're just gonna wrap that up until we use this whole piece we have. And then I am going to just add some more hot glue here on the edge where it ended and just press that down there. Okay, so that is what the bottom will look like. You can wrap it as many times as you want if you want it to be darker. Um, I need to glue that more, but if you want it to be darker and fuller, um, you can continue just to keep going around it, which I may end up doing because um, you can kind of just see right through that. So I am just going to finish wrapping this wreath and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is what it looks like when it's finished. Um, again, the sole purpose of doing that is just to be able to glue the flowers on and really add, you know, for something for it to hold on to. So... This is what it'll look like. We got it covered all the way around. Um, I did use both rolls of these. If you want this pink to be any darker, you want to go over it more, you're going to have to get more 
than two, okay? So I did use two. So the next thing that we are going to do is just figure out which flowers we're using and just pop them off their stems. Um, I'm not gonna use a lot of, I don't think I'm gonna use the leaves really at all. So I'm going to remove those. And then you're going to have to cut the back. See, these have wires in them. They might, there they go. So you'll just pick what flowers you wanna use. I have different sizes. I have big ones, I have little ones. We have like smaller ones over here. So once we figure out which flowers we're going to be using, then you can just start from there. So you'll just take your flower. Uh, this might need to be cut a little bit more. And then you'll just take your glue gun and you will just glue all around the middle there. Bunch of glue stuck, okay. Find where you want to start and then just press the flower on and hold on until that dries. Just like that, okay? So you'll just, again, decide which flowers you wanna use. Um, I don't have like a specific pattern I'm gonna go by. I just want to fill the whole thing and just have this beautiful floral ribbon wreath for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so. I know I say in a lot of my DIYs, there's no rhyme or reason. There really isn't. Um, I just pick which flowers I want to use, and I'm just going to start gluing them all around in different areas here. I'm trying to figure out where I want this one to go. So again, I'm just going to use different shades of pink. For this one so again we have like really light pink we have some bright dark pinks um we have some like this one here which is like a completely different shade than all of them so we are just going to just take all the beautiful pink roses and just start to glue them in and then when you're done, you'll just have this beautiful pink ribbon full of wonderful pink roses. Okay. Gotta grab some more flowers here. I took the leaves off of most of them. I mean, like this here I'll keep on. I'm sorry, this here I'll keep on. But I'm going to remove these. I don't want a lot of greenery in it. You can do, you know, whatever you like to do. But I really want to just focus on the color pink. So that's why I am choosing to take the leaves out. And the other good thing, like, about wrapping this like this, since it does now have a uh, shimmery hot pink background so I mean if you there is any space in between you're still just going to see pink through the whole thing so so this is what we are going for so far and we're just going to continue to pick our flowers and just glue away um, let's see what have we used Maybe this one. That's the hardest part, deciding what flowers <laughs> you want to use and where you want to put them. So yeah, we're just going to continue to glue all around there and just push that on in. You only have to hold for a second or two until that glue dries. So again, this is what one end of it will look like when you are done with that. So we are just gonna continue to get our flowers, glue them all around. Again, a very easy, quick project that is just absolutely stunning. So I am going to get all my flowers together and glue them on and I will be back. All right, guys, I just wanted to come in about halfway and show you what I am working with here. So this is about halfway done. Again, just kind of putting 
the flowers randomly, just keeping um, an eye on going with the shape of the form. So, so far we are halfway and this is what we have. So I'm just going to continue and finish this up and I will be back. Okay, I just got the last couple glued on here. So we're just gonna, you know, fluff out some flowers. You know, once you get done sticking your hands and smushing them in with the glue, then you can kind of just fluff them up. And that right there is what you will have. I think that came out absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to just hang this up so you guys can get a better look, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that is what it looks like completed and hung up. Um, the one thing that I forgot to mention was I did take a piece of ribbon and glue that to the back to be able to hang it. Um, it just made it easier since I did cover the whole thing. You can't just hang it with the wreath form, but that's what I did. I just think this came out absolutely beautiful with the different color pinks. And it just took, you know, a plain old wreath form and turned it into something gorgeous to hang during um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time. Mm -hmm.